Hello Blender fans and welcome to Blender TC. I'm Terry Kasty and in today's tutorial we're going to show you using bevel to make a barrel. This is a quick and easy tutorial and at the end I'm going to show you a bit of fun with barrels. So let's begin. Hi and welcome to Blender TC. Before we start we we'll actually set some uh, colours up so Let's uh, just do that for, in fact, I've already done it. Uh, what I've got here, I've got a blue colour, which is the actual colour that the barrel is made. If you take a screenshot now, here are all the settings for the actual blue colour. Jeez. There. And you can set the red up. It's a principal shader. Um, let's see it. expand this slightly so you can see it. And I'll shrink it by now. It's a normal principal shader and the red colour, slightly metallic, slight speculative, and it's got very little roughness. That's the main two colours. I've also got actual a uh, plane that you see in the uh, thumbnail, but it's not very visible. But the plane, if you're interested, is also here. So let's have a look. And the colour for that one is it's like a grey colour, or a grey black. And here are the settings for the actual that colour as well. Right, as I say, let's delete the actual cube. So I'm just going to delete the cube and I'm going to go into. going to go into solid mode for this tutorial I'm going to add a mesh uh, the reason I'm going to solid mode is it's easier to see it and I'm going to add a cylinder now, this is a standard cylinder that's added and I'm going to scale that up in the Z direction by using the S key and the Z key by 1.35 the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go into edit mode by pressing the tab key select a line this is done up here. You've got point select, line select, and face select. If you look on your normal keyboard, if you hit the one key, it goes to point select. Hit the two key, it goes to line select, and the three key will go to the face select. But we want line select in this one. So select the line with your left mouse click, Control R, and then press the two key on your keyboard to split that into two. I'm then going to actually select the top face by holding Alt. In fact, I'm just going to come out of there. Select Alt and left click. Then press the Shift down. Alt and left click. Alt and left click. And Alt and left click. Uh, here's where the actual fun comes in. I'm going to put Control and B. And then left click with your mouse. This fetches up this bevel. So if we actually expand that by hitting the little arrow, I don't know if you saw how I did that, but you hit the little arrow and this opens it up. And I'm just going to actually increase the 0 0.03 on this one and I'm going to change this to six segments. Six. And then using my mouse wheel to actually scroll into my model, I'll just click out of that now. And what I'm going to do is select the center one here. And select this center one there. Select that center one there. And we're going to then scale these out. So what I want to do is individual origins, which is found here next to the global. And then select this, which is proportional editing. I'm then going to press the S key and scale as you can see it makes the barrel do funny things but if you actually roll your mouse wheel down you've then got full control on how far depending on the barrel you make depending depends on how you want these ridges to see i think that's about right so i'm leaving it at that by selecting left click which fixes it i then can actually select anywhere on the outside just to deselect that the next thing we'll do is select the top face by selecting face 
select by pressing the three key or selecting up here and I'm going to select the top I'm going to select the bottom and then I'm going to control and be bevel again and increase this to three two three and as you can see now we've got six faces on that side six faces on that side and I'm just going to fix that so and what that does it gives me a very sharp line there which then enables me to actually select the line that joins these two which is somewhere in here and on the top somewhere in here you can see and then I can scale these up in the same manner so scale up and what I'm doing there is I'm just rolling around my mouse wheel until I get the desired effect all I'm trying to do is create that little lip down there I went back out of edit mode then by pressing the tab key that takes you in and out of the edit mode as you can see now we've got an actual barrel so select face select again select that face select that face and then I'm going to go into medium point here take this off and scale in the Z direction just to take it down in fact, take it up slightly and what we've done there we've inset on both sides of the barrel and for good measure if you wish and you want to make this quite sloping you could add the bevel of it by like control and B again and select it out just to actually slightly bevel there I think I'll reduce this to two segments in this case or maybe uh, maybe three because I think that looks better and there we have it I'm just going to hit the smooth shade and we have our barrel So next what we need is we need the little uh, place where you fill the barrel up so what we do is go to face select select the top face E to extrude S to scale and scale it down to the desired size I'm going to scale it down to about that and then I'm going to G which is the move key in the X direction and move it to the edge there and then I'm going to extrude in the Z direction then extrude in the Z direction again and scale up and extrude scale and extrude and scale down again as you can see what we've got there is we've got like this the top of the barrel if you wanted to flatten that out it's quite easy to do so you press ctrl and plus and I'm going to scale that in the Z direction which will actually shrink it down and also allow me to move it G and Z and there we have it we've got a barrel you've got some distortion around this here which we're going to fix shortly and I'll just show you how to fix that now ctrl R then hit the GG key, if you hit GG twice, you can straight that, select that down. As you can see, the distortion is now gone. And Control R, GG, and move it up. And then what we need to do, we need to now let's take this into rendered mode. As you can see, we've got the barrel, but it's not got the colours we want, so I'm going. Just going to add, re add those colors in that we had so we've got new and I'm going to select that to be the blue and I'm going to new again these are the colors which we actually made earlier new and select the red as you can see it started to look like a barrel I'm going to select the top face there and then control and plus to expand the selection until it actually selects the old top then go back to select the red 
and then assign the red color. If we hit the tab key and come out of edit mode, as you can see, we've now got a barrel. We've got some distortion there around the barrel face. So if we wanted to sharpen up these edges, that's easy to do. We select that edge there, Control R, and drag it up slightly. Same on that one. If we want to sharpen that one up, and Control R, I'm doing this in cycles mode, so that's why it seems to glitch occasionally. It's just the actual graphics card catching up. But you could do this in EV if you wish, but I don't think it looks quite as good. But it doesn't look bad either. There we go, that's EV rendering. And we've produced a barrel. And this is cycles, which I prefer, as you can see. And I'll just add the green ground plane in. Alt and H, because I've got the ground plane fitted in the background, and and that's what the third colour's for. And as you can see, if I render that, just give me two seconds while I render it, and there you are. One rendered barrel in cycles. Job done. Please subscribe to Blender TC and leave a comment. Now the barrel's complete, what we can do is have a bit of fun with the barrel. I'm just going to take this into the object mode, and if we select the barrel there, and we scale it up, that just doesn't look right, but what we'll do is I will select the proportional editing and we'll select medium point in there and if we scale up now and move the mouse wheel we can actually achieve all sorts of different shaped barrels let's have a look and let's take that up as you can see that becomes the normal barrel again if I take it down the scroll wheel and scale it up what we can do we end up with a round type barrel in what it looked like in render as you can see we've got a round type barrel and say you wanted some ridges around the outside so if we went I I and then scale these down oops sorry press I again scale them oops. inset inset then scale as you can see we've got some ridges and if we actually use to extrude these along the normals You get a totally different barrel. Control R, move that up to make it look a bit better. And put this into rendered mode. You can see very easy and very quickly you can get a different sort of barrel. So let's go to face select, select this top edge. Control R, so not Control R. Press the Alt key to select all the edges, and then I'm going to select, check a deselect, and I can actually press the I and press the I again, and scale these down. This is a lot easier if you're actually in this mode, so scale it down, and then extrude again. I'll just G and Z to move them up. As you can see, very simply and very quickly, you get a totally different effect yet again. And if I scale this down and scale it in the Z direction, as you can see, you've got a very futuristic looking barrel of sorts something that you might see in Star Trek or something like that or whatever you're into as you can see very quickly I've achieved something that's very very strange but still is recognisable as a barrel please subscribe to my channel 
This is Blenders TC signing off. Have fun with barrels.